but if you try to play them over 30, it, you, it, it becomes counterproductive. And now they can spread those minutes out more evenly across the boards. They are both two-year starters coming off the bench. Of course, they were out for a number of games each due to injuries. Smith, the back injury, stress fracture for Tillman. Woodard sets the feet. Good looking shot. And he swishes. Why panic? Debo spins on Adu. Adu blocks that one. Adu is fourth in the conference in blocks. Weatherspoon. Ooh, nice defense from Wendell Mitchell. Woodard, no. Buries a three. Debo, he does. And Debo with a flush. Fun to watch, isn't it? And the Bulldogs answer back with a one. He's now been able to relish in his role as Batman. Woodard. Tough Barry. shot. Three. And that one so far has now missed 8 of 12 shots. Seven minutes remaining. 22-point advantage for the hometown Bulldogs. And make it 20. Willing to live with giving up a few smash mouth hoops. Only this, Roy. I don't want to be the guy guarding pair. <laughs> it's an important caveat. Weatherspoon. Woodard. Against Reese. That's a big shot for Mississippi State. Perry, an easy path to the bucket. Bulldogs up by four and back to back turnovers for Auburn. Here's Carter on the drive and the kick. Open three on the way. Got it. Robert Woodard. Spires and from a missed layup. Under five and a half to play. Weatherspoon on the pump fake. Kick out, sets up a three from Woodard. Much needed triple for the Bulldogs. No, would you agree with that? He, he, he draws a lot of attention. Uh, and I think one of their concerns is just can they keep his motor going? He, he will take some plays off at times. And that, that's the... <laughs> he gets wins. Petty misses badly. Galen Smith, who just checked in, had a chance to throw one down. Couldn't do it. Molinar, his shot is blocked by Jones. Gets it back. That's short playing too fast right now. Alabama has completely sped up the Mississippi State Bulldogs. They are playing the temple of Alabama and over time, Alabama will thrive if it's... Back on Joe Lunardi's bubble. Perry threw it away. Lee was really strong in transition on Wednesday. There's Woodard with the rejection. By the young freshman. Stolen away by State. Also takes out a veteran, a guy that's been there before, a leader on this basketball team. That's what I'm anxious to see in the second half. Who steps up for Alabama in that leadership role? And if you're just joining us, John Petty has some kind of right arm injury, had to leave the game and has not returned. Carolina trying to get a zone organized. Tyson Carter. And Hannibal. Gave it right to right. Double figures with 10. 6-7 versus 6-2. Again, the stops here allow you to get out into transition, number one, but also keeps the Rebels from setting up into their 1-3. Blocked by Perry. That'll start the break. Woodard. Count the basket. These games, that Kentucky-Auburn game is going to be fantastic in a great environment. I do think it'll be a three-horse race to win this regular season conference between those two along with LSU as Woodard just easily will break the rest and finish. Mississippi State was worried about Georgia back cutting. They take a little bit out of Georgia Bulldog playbook, get the corner back cut for the easy layup. Weatherspoon on the push. Reverse layup up and in by...
the day in terms of that size and physicality. They have the size and physicality, but they have way more athletes. Our more comfortable shooting a deep. Oh, my. Where did that come from? <laughs> Tyree White trying to put together a Sports Center top 10 highlight. Instead, he got rejected by the rim. And then on the other end, in transition, it's Robert. And, and unfortunately for Kentucky, they turned it over. A, a bad defense, all in one, all in one game. That's what I Good defense there by Carter ahead to Woodard and the gliding bucket on the left side. Inbound, get it inbounded to Woodard. Woodard takes it to the hole and lays it up on him.